Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we've got another object competition as you can see here but before we begin guys we want to say a massive massive thank you to you all as we are now less than 100 subscribers away from 7,000 we are literally just looking at now we're about 88 subs away so yeah just a massive massive thank you to everyone who's helped us um, get to this number because it's absolutely crazy and also if you're new consider subscribing helps us on the journey to 7,000 because I reckon in a few days time we'll have it so it's absolutely amazing and I cannot thank you guys enough but anyways with that all out the way let's get into today's object competition so yeah the first um okay and then the first object was because i know this one i know you guys um, picked what we're doing for this one so yeah this is um hd 189733b so this is actually the planet that has the uh what's it the glass rain isn't it the the, yeah, the, the very weird rain it's also like a, it's a gas giant like object as well um which is pretty cool yeah it has um yeah, I think this is the glass rain planet. I'm not entirely sure because it's it's quite hard to know all of these uh, exoplanets because their names are so hard to forget, remember. But yeah, this is the uh, raining glass planet, I believe. But yeah, I actually already had a copy of this one from ages ago. I don't know who made this, but yeah, this is... Um, I guess you could say this is my contender for this one, I guess. But yeah, I've had this one for absolutely ages and I don't know who made it. But I think it was in my size comparison as well. But yeah, anyways, here are today's contestants. So... Right, we also have the largest exoplanet, that's not even part of this. So I guess we'll start off with Zane B's one here. So there we go, pretty small. I don't know how large this thing's supposed to be, but anyways, let's go ahead and place his one in. So here we go, so he's got a blue and cyan, well not a blue and cyan, sorry, a white and cyan banded object here. Let's put it the right way up. So yeah, there it is, there. So there we go, and also I've looked at concept art. Excuse me there. I've looked for some concept art of this object as well. And most concept art seems to show it as a blue gas or a blue gassy world. So it seems blue is the way we're going with this. So yeah, there it is there. Blue and white colour sort of theme. So this one is um matching that colour theme as well. So there we go. Looks like it's a little larger than Neptune, that one there. Right, anyways, moving on, we got Gigaman's one next up. And that one's a lot bigger as well. So I'm guessing Zane B's one may just be small. But here it is here. So he's going with a, lots of different colour bands as well. Lots of different mixture of colours here. This one's looking pretty cool, actually. So, yeah, there we go there. That looks, that dark blue band does look pretty interesting there. So there we go. So, right here. Right, moving on. Obviously, we have my one. Okay, next up, we've got PDT Mark's one. So let's go ahead and spawn that in. Okay, so this is Mark's one. Okay, because here's, here's the one I've had from ages back. So that is Mark's one then. All right, good to know. So we'll just remove that one then. So yeah, this one has been around for a long time now. So yeah, there's his one. Rightio. Since I know who made it, that means I can pull it in this competition. All right, now we've got Mad Planet, guys. Well, let's see what he's got here. And ooh, look at that. Similar sort of colour scheme to Gigaman's, but it seems to be the blue, which is the more stronger colour. And I do like the way that I like that. I have to say it has a nice light blue. It's got some darker blue. It's got obviously the white bands on it as well. That looks very good. So there we are. Next up, we've got uh, Ninja Joes here. I hope I'm saying your name right. So it's, um, although it's really hard to say, pronounce your one. Nintendo's. I think that's how I say that. Yeah, really sorry if I'm saying that wrong, man. Um, but yeah, he's gone with a more violet lavender colour um, and white um, gas giant here. So there we are. Looking interesting there. So you can see those are sort of a theme with the blues and the whites and the purples. Now, and then last up, we've got U20s ones. He's also gone for small ones, but over here. So here it is here. Right. So we, go. we need to make these other ones bigger because they're way too small. Let's quickly go ahead and do that. Just quickly move these out the way here. Let's quickly put him in there. But anyways, before we make it bigger, he's gone with a nice blue sort of colour. He's actually heated his up as well. Right there. Also with some really light cyan bands on it as well. Very interesting um, colour choice there. And also if we turn it around, it's all dark with the orange glow to it. So there is that one. Right, so... Okay, so these need to be about 77,000 kilometres. Okay, so let's quickly go just quickly um, do that. So there we go, like that. There we go, that's looking better. So and then this guy... Uh, delete that and put a seven in front of it there you go so now if we line them all up there we are so make live done right so there is our list of objects here so this one is um pretty cool so we got some ones without bands and then we have ones with some bands so it's actually all organizing for us we've got the two unbanded ones over here and we've got the banded ones here so this one oh i am liking this saucy we don't know what it actually looks like so it's all up to which one I like the most out of all of these. Um, but remember, this is all um, opinion. It's not fact. So if you think differently, that is fine. Let us know which one you think is the best out of all of these. Because um, remember, these videos' purpose mainly is to just show off everyone's interpretations of one or of an object. And then I just pick the one I like the most. But my, my opinion 
is not um, valid. So it's just um, it's all opinionated. So yeah, there is that. But yeah, it is. A, there are all pretty much blue objects as well. But I do like the colours on these. I have to say, but yeah, just looking at the concept art right now, it, well, these colours all match it pretty well. So yeah, I guess it's just up to which one I um look um, or I like the look of. Um, but yeah, anyways, I think the ones with the real blue in them. So I'd say. For me, personally, I think that one, Mal Planet Guys one, and these ones here, I think uh, the blues, the reason I picked these is because these ones have more blue in them. The other ones have a lot more pale colours and white colours, but these guys have the strongest blues for me. I think I think the, the, the more blue in it does look better um, for this object, in my opinion. So we've got these three right now. Now it's, now it's bands versus no, oh, no bands. So obviously, this one's a lot more plain, way less bands. But these guys have obviously a lot more complex bands to them, which is looking very interesting. I'm pretty sure if we heated these up, they'd look pretty cool as well. If I uh, heat them up, can we? No, oh, we can't see it. Ah, oh, that sucks. Wish we could um, warm them up a bit to have a better look. But so yeah, that's the one I've had for uh, the longest time now. So there it is there. But out of these two, I don't know. It's... Oh... That, that I do like this one. I have to say, I really, I really do like the um, colours on it. But is it? Do you think the bands look better or not? That's all I'm thinking here. Does the bands look good or not? And I, I do like that dark blue with the lighter blue. It almost um, looks like he's got like the same sort of light blue underneath those bands. Like if we just look at this, this sort of section here, this area, it's quite a similar colour to this one in some of the areas on this. So, yeah, I really do like that light blue for this. And then they've obviously got the darker blue bands, the white bands on it as well, which were a really nice addition. I am liking that one. And then we have the one over here with the much darker, or much darker, deeper blue with the cyan and the white on it as well. So let's get a full look on flashlight of what this guy looks like. So in the south, it's got a nice cyan area. In the north, it's got a cyan area as well. But does that really... Do you think those colours match from a distance? I mean... Does look a little. I don't know how to describe it. It does look a little uh, different, is the word, I guess, because those ones all, all the other objects here, their colours match and blend quite well. But with this one, that cyan is just so in your face. If you get what I mean, it, I don't know if it's is it just me. Um, let me know in the comments. But that cyan does seem quite bright. It does seem quite attracting, other than the rest of the planet. But with these ones, the colours blend a lot more. This one may have that sort of thing with it as well. That dark blue band on it does sort of catch your eye a lot over the rest of the object. But all of the other objects, they really the colours definitely blend a lot better, if you ask me. So, I think for me, it's between these two guys. It's between Mad Planet guys one and then Mark's one here. But which one is Bella? I mean, these guys are definitely both winners for their own categories. Got the best banded one in my opinion. Then we have the one without the bands here as well. So it's between these two, I've. Oh, I really don't know, because that looks good, but that looks good. It's just bands versus not bands. I mean, uh, I don't know. I mean, this one does look cool. I do like the bands on that, and I do think it does look good. But And then I do like the way the the blues blend on that. Cause remember, this one isn't all the same blue. You can see there's more cyan turquoise, and it goes to a more light sky blue. It goes to more cyan in the... Like you can see from this picture here, it's a lot more more cyan like in the top and then in the middle it's more of a blue a sky blue color then it goes to cyan again i do like those color i do like those color options together but then this one as well the the white bands do look good on it i i do like this one i a lot i i, I think uh, but i don't know so that's it um completely straight up so you can see there's a band or two bands in above the equator and then we've got one band in the south below the equator so there is that Hmm. Oh, I really... Oh, It always gets really intense with this bit, was picking between the last two for me. I really don't know. You guys let me know um, what which one in the comments you think is the best out of all of these as well. Just remember, it's all um, opinion. It's not a fact um, which one I think is the best. And yeah, just let me know what you guys think as well. Because that's um, what these for, just to see what people think and everyone's interpretations of all these objects. But, oh, I, I don't know. So this is the one that rains diamonds. Oh, not that. Not diamond. No, that's fifty-five can cry. He's the diamond planet. This is the one that rains glass, apparently. So, oh, I don't know. It's a hard choice as well. Like 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 last episode. This one is a pretty hard choice. So, wow, this one was discovered in two thousand and five. Just looking at um, some facts there, but between these two, oh, 
I don't know. Oh, I'm I'm quite stuck on this. I mean, it's bands versus not bands. Maybe maybe I leave it at a draw. We have one winner for each, but I've never done that before. Uh, I've got to keep with the trend of only picking one. If you could have one out of all of these for your video or, or size comparison, which one would it be? Which one do you think would look good? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is a hard choice. But those bands really are good looking, I think. I think they do look good together. If you heated this up and made it have a bit of um, a bit of those hot clouds like this one back here, if it had a bit of that glow to it, those hot clouds, I think that would really make it look good. We'll have to see what it looks like afterwards on both of these guys as well. But, oh, I don't know. This one is cool indeed. Uh, but I think I'm going to go with my gut feeling on this one. I've, I've been thinking to myself um, in my head with this. I'm going to pick Mad Planet Guys one. I just love the bands, the way they blend on this. So, yeah, congratulations, Mad Planet Guy. You have um, won this one. I, I, is it just me? Let me know um, what you think down below. But that one is the best, most eye-catchy one for me. Me, myself, personally. That, I think, is the best. But now I'm just going to do a bit of experimentation. I'm just going to quickly remove these guys. Now we're going to pl click play. We're going to heat this up. I want to see what this looks like when we give it a bit of temperature. How does it, how does it look? Come on, warm up. Come on. I want to see what you look like around 700, 800 degrees. So, so that's a little too hot now. Uh, around there. Cool down a bit, man. Come on. No, not 12. 25, 50. Okay, around, around uh, uh, 800 is what I want. Come on. Cool down to about 800. Okay, take your time. Come on. Cool down. Okay, we'll just... Uh, around that sort of... Now that looks amazing. Look how good that... I... Now, that, that is looking good. I am liking the way that looks. So about 499 degrees is the way. But look how good it looks when you heat it up. That I really do like that. But now let's quickly spawn in Mark's one again here. So we'll just we'll pull it over there. We'll position lock it as well. We'll do exactly the same with that. And we'll see how it looks um, like that. So let's position lock you. We'll put you to about 500 degrees. So 500. Click play. Hopefully it'll warm up. Come on. See the other one. That That looks good. So come on. There you go. You can see the clouds. The cl those hot clouds really add some extra features um, to it as well. Okay, warm up a little bit more. Just we get a bit more. Ooh. Okay, and then maybe a little, little bit less. 600 degrees. Just a tad less. That's... I think it looks good like that as well. But I think both of them look way better when you heat them up. So we'll just keep them like this for now. Keep click and play. Warm you up a bit more. Okay, so we've got that. That one looks really good heated up. And then we've got this one as well. So around there, cool you down just a tad bit. Still a little too hot. So spam click that quickly. So around there, I think they both look best around this area. Because this object is pretty hot, I believe. It's not It's not a cold object. I think this is pr a pretty hot gas giant-like object. So, yeah, if I'm just quickly looking... I'm just going to quickly look this up. So the temperature... Yeah, that it is a pretty hot object. Okay, so there is that. Okay, so yeah, so this is supposed to be more of a warm. It's definitely not a cold planet. It's not an ice giant, I don't think. It's more of a warm. It's probably more of a warm Neptune or something like that. So, yeah, but I, I don't don't quote me on that. I don't know much about this planet other than it rains glass apparently. So, yeah, you guys let me know um, any more interesting facts about this object um, down below. But I still think overall when you heat them up this one is still the king for me I, I really like those white bands blending with the blue this one still looks good as well when you heat it up i really do like the cyan mixing with the more sky blue but for me this one is still um victorious so yeah there we go guys that is all of the objects so now we'll just uh speed it up cool them down quickly completely frozen it out go on cool down guys there you go so there we go. It's all nice and cooled down now. So we'll uh, slow that down. We'll spawn the other guys in quickly. So there we are. Like so. Oh, no, I already spawned my planet guys on, didn't I? So let's quickly yeah, get rid of that. But yeah, there we go. That is it for today's competition of HD19873B. 19, that was really hard to remember. Um, I'm actually pretty pleased that I managed to remember how to spell that. Or not spell it, say it. <laughs> God, it's so many numbers. Right, but anyway, so we can make these guys bigger as well, just so we can get the full lineup again. But yeah, guys, let me know down below in the comments or in the premiere chat, I guess, since I probably will be premiering this like normally. Um, but yeah, let me know which one you think is the best out of all these, because um, it's an interesting one. And I really do like um, having it heated up. 
Um, so it really does add a little extra effect for me. But um, yeah, there we go. That is all of the um, one nine oh God, one eight nine seven three three Bs. So yeah, there is that. Right, so yeah, guys, it also is if you like this video, let's even go for about 40 likes on this video as well, guys. And also, subscribe helps on the journey to 7,000, like I mentioned at the start of the video. We are so, so close to doing it. I think I just saw a comment come through. It said we're 79 subs away now. So, yeah, someone said we're 79 away. Um, and a comment has just appeared. So, yeah, wow. Really, really crazy stuff. And also, thank you guys indeed as well. It's absolutely amazing. You guys are awesome for helping me get to this point as well. And I'm interested to see um, how far we'll go in the future as well, guys. So, just a massive, massive thank you to all. And also, a massive thank you to everyone who sent their objects in today as well. So, here's the lineup. We only had six for today. Um, which is pretty interesting. Not as many for this one, but I know with extra planets we do sometimes get less. But also, guys, let me know which object do you want to see next um, for one of these. Let me know in my Discord or in the comments which object do you want to see next. Um... But yeah, that is that, guys. So yeah, that's pretty much everything said. So make sure you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.